Yo, let's go. Multi-sport, hybrid, hobby famous, monster blowout, super mix is going down. You're each going to get two teams per sport, six teams per spot bought, tiered style. Good luck. Look at that, Bengals and Angels in number three. Who wants the Bengals and Angels? 49ers and Yankees. Maybe it'll go Bengals, Angels, Pelicans. Woohoo! Good luck. Fifteen is Vikings and Marlins in the Nets. Let's see what we got. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at some dope spots here. Patriots, Cubs, Sixers, Bengals and Angels and Warriors up there in spot number three. Niners, Yankees, Bulls. That is a hot spot. Where's the Grizzlies? Giants. Giants and first off the line. Select. I mean, uh, Prism. So the Giants. Oh, my. God. Look at that. The eight spot. Giants, Blue Jays, Grizzlies. That's the spot to have. That is the spot that you want. Oh, my God. Let's match them up. Here's all of our dudes. 15 spots. We're going nine times. <laughs> Good luck to you all on your spots. Let's go. Yeah! 
Stephen P with that hot spot. Of course! Where's the uh, Pelicans? Josh, the Morganator, scoring the Redskins, Dodgers, and the Pelicans. We should just do these all the time. That's it. This is dope. All right, I'm going to uh, give you guys the link. This way... You can refer to the sheet because I don't want to put this whole freaking screen on air. So I'm going to give the link. Yeah, Carter, I didn't even see your... I didn't even see your, um, I didn't even see your chat, but yeah, it, it takes up too much. Anybody want to trade? Offer trades? I'm going to get some top loaders. Carter, keep an eye on any trades or offers. Please. We'll play the one-on-one -on -one game. We will play the one-on-one -on -one game. Access to nine. Okay, let me check. Here, I'll bring this back up so you all can see. Sorry, it said anybody can view. Um, 15 is uh, Omar with Vikings Marlins Nets. Share. Oh, wait, I got to change it. There you go. It literally says anyone on the internet can see it. There you go.
All right, let's, uh, you guys got the links? I got that. We're going to play the one-on-one -on -one game. All right, we're going to play the one of one game. The way the one of one game works is we're going to randomly select. You guys get three chances uh, in here. Adrian, you got the Chargers, and just so you know, that's Chargers, Jets. Chargers, Jets over here, and uh, Texans, Saints for you, Rick. See, Rick, you're in a four spot. You have the Texans and the Saints. And the other combo team was uh, Chargers Jets for Adrian Wiretap. Look at Robert Sand. You got the Niners, Yankees, and Bulls. Chiefs, White Sox, and Celtics. That's good. All right, here's the one-on-one -on -one game. We're going to pick a random spot, one through 30. The way we're going to do this is spots 1 through 30, uh, it's going to pick three teams. If we get a one of one from any of those teams, I'm going to open this in the break as bonus, and then somebody will win this. I'll run the randomizer, and somebody will win this flash box. All right, so we'll add this to the break as bonus hits, and I will random this box to somebody in the break. All spots will get random. So now let's just see which teams are going to be the one of ones. Spot 11. Spot 11 is Cardinals, Padres, and the Hawks. That's a good spot. Damn. So all we got to do is pull one of one from either the Arizona Cardinals, the Padres, or the Atlanta Hawks. Select will go in the break. The Leaf will be randomed. That is the one of one game. And there it is. All right, any final trades? I'm going to go live on my Facebook, and then we'll be ready.
All right, doesn't look like anybody's trading. Let's get breaking. Oh, your chat's not broke, game. Let's get some blue blue parallels here. Number to 20, it's Kenny G. Galladay. I got the sheet here, so I'll be able to call you guys out. Steven. Stephen A. Smith. What up? Jalen Hurts. Me likey. Number two, a hundy. Leonard Williams. Number to 20, Ed Oliver. Hey, Amy. How'd it go with your boy last night? Everything okay? Number to 35, Cheyenne O'Grady. Number to 20, Derek Brown. He didn't call the cops. Well, your son should have beat him up a little bit more then. Number to 20, it's Shaq Lawson, Buffalo Bills. That's the parallels in here. They're blue. This is a parallel product. I think they're testing the water with all parallels type product because you get stuff like this. Number to six for the Miami Dolphins. Nobody really likes the Dolphins anymore. I guess they will now with two of there, but that's about it. It's been since about 1984. Since anybody really cared. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's good. Sounds like he's like his mom. I'm liking this early start. I love the early start. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm having to get used to leaving the house early. But daddy's got work to do, kids. Gotta go. Peace out. Number to 20, Montez Sweat. Sweet. Redskins. An apology? For what? My candor? Well, I mean, has anybody cared about the Dolphins since the 80s? Number 20, my boy, Brennan Ayuk. He's a San Francisco NFC champion, 49er. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tickle breaks coming soon. Your official tickled headquarters. What's up, Nick? Oh, thank you for listening. Hope you guys liked it, shared, whatever helps Ty. Oh, he's a good dude. As you could probably tell, him and I could probably do a three-hour podcast. In fact, I got to text him. going to bring Ty on. Uh, I want him to come on my radio show that I do every other Tuesday called Collector's Corner. How original is that? <laughs> Collector's Corner. The radio station was like, okay, cool. What are you going to, what's the name of your show going to be? Um, Collector's Corner. Oh, how original. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't. I text you. I bet if I could run a report. I wonder if there is a report I could run. I would love to run a report. Seven day rolling report of number of texts, texts per contact. I am pretty sure Tyson and Carter and my wife will be neck and neck for the most. And then followed by probably my buddy Joe. I'll bring the sheet up every once in a while just to, when we switch boxes, maybe y'all can refresh your teams. Uh, I got the sheet here. I'll show it. It just takes up too much screen. I'm actually considering not putting it up on screen going forward. I like the whole bigger screenshot. Number to 10. Denzel Mims. You got the Redskins, Dodgers, and Pelicans. We're doing 2019 Prism first off the line, dude. That's ridiculous price.
We need a one one from the Cardinals, Padres, or Atlanta Hawks. Number two, a Hundy, Kirk, Cousins. Two, a... Joe Burrow. Number to 20, Quadre Diggs. Let's do some Zion hunting. Let's do some John Morant hunting. Here's a look at your teams again. You love on-screen schedule? What do you mean by that? There's a Chris Stapps. We pulled a gold rookie scripts. Myoni One. Wow, blaster box auto. Love when that happens. Rookie scripts for the Pacers. Jazz, jazz, jazz. The Jazz are owned by my sheet here, the Jazz. Stephen A. Smith. What do you guys think about not putting the teams over on the left side? I think that's so 2000 and 2016. What's up, Aim? Yeah, of course. Google the shop, you'll see the address. If you Google the shop, Google Top Shelf Sports Cards Elgin, the address is there. Thank you very much. Those spoiled little turkeys. Man, I take stuff home. What's this, Daddy? Oh, my friend sent you stuff, kids. Better get writing some thank you letters. Okay. Shiny Thomas Bryant. Yeah, of course, it's fine. Appreciate that. John Morant. I saw a John Morant. I don't know if it's shiny or not. NBA debut, Ja. The Grizzlies. That's for Stephen P. God, that guy loves it here. No wonder. Uh, Brixen and Colston. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
LeBron James. Old school Steve Nash. Spud Webb. Oh, good. There's one more. I was really thinking that this mosaic was going to be the uh, one of the surprise products of the break tonight. Remember, we're looking for a 101 from the Cardinals, Padres, or Atlanta Hawks. If that happens, somebody's winning a box of Leaf Flash football, and we're opening up a bonus box of Select Baseball. What gaps need to be filled? What's next? What's missing? What's missing? I mean, one thing that I've always envisioned when, when I saw this six years ago was I'd like to see the uh, athletes more involved with the breakers. Through, I mean, these manufacturers have the licenses. The problem is, is it gets dicey for them to pick and choose what breakers get what athlete. So they can't really do that because I probably would feel slighted and like, damn, well, that sucks if Breaker X was doing live break Saturday night with Pete Alonzo, you know, but they could do it on some sort of a lottery system. But I just think there's a way or maybe they do it on their own individually, which you can do. If I can get through to some players, I can have them on. I think that would be a, a cool dynamic there. Yeah, more black gloves. So two two cards I've I've pulled for customers in the past thirty days. One of them was the uh, gold Zion to ten, that came back a ten, and or no, it was a nine five, and then somebody got a ten on a. The hell was it? I know it was a ten because he texted it to me. So you don't need gloves. It's all. What's the word I'm looking for? Snake oil. In fact, wearing gloves, you, you, the, the corners get caught on the rubber and the latex, man. You're getting latex stuff on the cards. I do not understand the damn gloves, man. The corners get caught on the rubber as you're moving them around and holding them. Skin to card, I prefer. Skin to card. AJ, here you go. I got the sheet, though. You're in 12. So you've got the Chiefs, White Sox, and Celtics. Chiefs, White Sox, Celtics, and Chargers, Rockies, Suns. And you also have, with the Chargers, the Jets. Chargers, Jets, Rockies, Suns. But the list is above. Uh, the boys, I mean, Star Wars, my youngest likes uh, Willy Wonka stuff, but he's six. So, believe it or not, they're not fully into the sports cards yet. I knew Carter was going to say something along those lines.
Joey Vato. Jake Freely, number 99. Number to 49, it's Larry Walker. <laughs> That's what she said. Man, Larry Walker's dope. New Hall of Famer and all. Man. Scammed on that one. Guess the team. What do you mean? Brian is a Houston Astro, not Bobby Abreu. Albert Alzale is a Chicago Cub cracked ice. Cubbies owned by David. Adbert, not even Albert. I always thought it was Albert. It's Adbert. Or maybe that's... Is that a, a typo? I thought it was Albert Alzole. Oh, yeah. I know what you're saying. Guess the city. Yeah, that is dope. I cracked ice in here and kind of what's driving it, what's keeping it going. Austin Meadows is Tampa Bay Rays, 149. Kevin Biggio. Yes, Nick, that's correct. Totally could bring them in on Zoom. I can bring people up in here. All you do is Skype them, and then I know how to cut, you know, bring them in here on this live. You could have a split screen. Me on one side, them on the other, and a camera down here. You could set it up however you want, just like you see on the network shows. But back in the day when I was in radio... We would have our bands and they would call every radio station. They would say, okay, you're going to be working for the next three hours. All right. And they would call and do interviews with like, you know, a dozen different radio stations. Well, they should build in time for the players and say, each year you're going to owe us at least three hours of your time to do breaks with tops in our breakers. So at 8 o'clock they call TSB. They're on with me for 8.30. They hang up. They go to the next breaker, 8.30 to 9, 9.30 to 10. But like I said, the political side of that would start shit storms big time. Yeah, see if Mendick will do it. The other difference is by the players doing this, it's not benefiting them one bit. Like, really. Back in the day, to have a band calling big radio stations, it was huge for them because that was huge press for them, which led to sales. And So having these players do this kind of stuff, they're like, I got to do what? I'm not doing that. I get paid $250,000 to sign my name on stuff at an event. And you want me to call in these guys for three hours? Nah. Danny Mendick. Come on down, Danny. Getting to the good stuff. Bowman's. First off the lines.
Noir. Maybe Mendic will come out, which he won't be able to because he'll be playing, but MonsterCon 2020. I think we have one RSVP so far, and it's Amy. There you go. Zach Collins right out of the gate. Chicago White Sox. That's for you, Adrian. Zach rookie card. The man. Green, 99. Jacob. Jacob DeGrom. The man. Yeah, it'd be cool. I got to do it now. Pressure's on. And White Sox running hot for Adrian. Nice auto there. Tim Anderson, number to 150. Hey, look, it's a White Sox. Yasmani Grandal. There's Mike. Bo Bichette, rookie. How we doing on PYT uh, Legacy? Did Prism Case sell out? Or Half Case? Carter has never met my wife. Don't believe that. I sure hope there was two boxes of finest in this break. 
Was there two boxes of finest? Edmet Heather in Chicago. Number to 150, Garrett Cole. Miss something. Well, come on out for MonsterCon, Ed, in August. MonsterCon 2020 here. Mauricio Dubon, rookie. Well, Tyson breaks begin in about 12 days. Hey, Ed, my wrestling buddy. What are you thinking of the wrestling uh, environment right now? How are you feeling a year into, uh, well, not even a year into AEW? How are you feeling about AEW? Maybe it's been a year already. <laughs> MonsterCon. MonsterCon is uh, basically a TSB mini convention we started, which I have a feeling as years go on, it'll get bigger and bigger. But this will be the inaugural MonsterCon here at my shop. I'm just going to get together and uh, I'll try to bring in some signers, some athletes, and some people to sign stuff. Have JSA here. Uh, we'll, we'll eat and drink and be merry for a couple days for a weekend. Keston Hiora, that's good, right? Isn't he the man? I'd like to meet, I mean, the National, I really, really look forward to the National. It's a time where you get to meet up with all of your friends in the hobby. And everybody's in one place. All the distributors, Panini, Tops, Leaf, TriStar, David Adams, Blowout, everybody's in one town, one city, one building, one area. All the other breakers, all my breaker colleagues and people in the hobby, so we just get together for basically five, six days and hang out, open cards, buy stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff, do breaks, have parties. I host the uh, breaker party with Southern Hobby. Who knows what's going to happen now in December. So now that we can't do that, I'm thinking, well, why don't we just start one here? And anybody from TSB, any of my customers want to come out and hang out at the shop, we'll do that. Here comes some monsters in the hobby. I mean, the crazy-ass thing is, Ed... And I've been saying this for six years now with Ed. Right now, as we sit, we would literally be about 30 to 40 days out from another national, Ed. In your neck of the woods, Jersey. Take, what is it, drive? Two hours for you to get to Atlantic City? Maybe less? Probably less. From Philly. We will be in, like, full-on national mode right now.
Jason Jones is down. I mean, I feel like just with the close group, close knit group we have here nightly, we could fill the place, let alone if I put it out publicly, I may have to do it, you know, like first come, first serve, RSVP kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Could only hold so many people in here. I'll have overflow though in the back with tents. Two ninety nine. Anthony Carter will be at MonsterCon. He will be signing an exclusive top shelf break signing of the Tickle King, Anthony Carter. The only thing he will not sign are unlicensed tickle items. You know, uh, DVDs, posters. Anything that's not officially licensed by Tickled, he will not sign. So, other than that, it should be a good time. He's doing it gratis. For his fans. No, in fact, the boxes are more expensive at National. <laughs> There's no discounts. They fleece you at National. Everybody does. I mean, it's still pretty competitively priced. It's not like completely uh, jacked up, but they're, they pretty much are the market price there. The reason is, is there's so many people selling it. If one person starts to drop their price... And there's no control of what the prices are to the boxes. It's too much. So everybody is at the same. If it's a $150 box, it's 150 bucks there, 150 bucks there. It's pretty much 150 bucks everywhere. He'll be playing baseball, though. Blue Jays. Why was this backwards? Uh-oh. Missing auto tops. Man, between them missing autos in the boxes and... Like, what is this? This was clearly backwards. And there's the signature spot. And Philip Clark is not signed. We're going to have to do something about that. Blue Jays. Steven. So I'll, I'll take a picture of that and try to tweet it out. But they didn't put the little discrepancy down there. Oh yeah, the signing of all tops autograph cards is witnessed. I've seen that before. Philip Clark, Blue Jays, no auto. We'll tweet that out, get their attention, see if we can get a Kevin Clark auto for you. Philip Clark, I mean. Oh, it is? All right, well, what are they doing about it, Anth? Mr. Bowman. Tickle King. Shiny Volpe. Yankees owner. Robert Sands, where are you at, dude? Well, we got shorted an auto from them the other night. Like, missing an auto. We only had two on a jumbo. Now that's missing. I mean, is it COVID-related, you think? I mean, you got to give these guys a little bit of slack. They can fall back on the fact that, well, remember, all this stuff was being manufactured and printed and shipped out during COVID. Given that fact, at least they got this out. I was so... Freaked out, like, well, what about Bowman? What if we don't get it? The Jesus Lizard. He didn't sign all of his cards. Well, why even put it in then? Why even put it in? Just don't include it. 
No one would know. No one's going to go, hey, wait a minute. I just looked at the entire run of Bowman Chrome, and we're short 100 Philip Clark autos. Like, why even put this in? Leave it out. All it does is draw attention to the fact that you're missing an auto. But that's just me. Not the most fun if you spend $300 on a box. That happens. They should totally refund you or something. Spend that kind of money. Shiny Jason. Yankees. There you go, Robert. Making your way back. That's a good card. Robert's a football dude. Boomer Sooner. Jason Dominguez. We need some ink. Bo Bichette. Tyson, how's the birthday celebration? Oh man, if that was a big time rookie. Jason Dominguez blank. Who knows, in this environment, a Jason Dominguez blank could be worth more than the auto. They're like, well, there's only, he only missed 10 of them. Or maybe he missed one. I'm surprised they put these in because it already has the top signing of all tops. Technically, somebody could sign that and say it's uh, Philip Clark's. I, don't, I didn't think they would let those go through because of that. Yeah, Blank Autos. The newest Rage. Super rare. It's a nice card there, Alec. Phillies. First off the line, Prism, Bowman Jumbo, Noir Basketball, and another hobby going down right now. Someone's winning that dope Kyler Murray helmet. Hopefully Robert does. He bought three spots. That's really why he bought in. He loves anything Sooners. You would love that. We got a 12-box case of Legacy to do tonight. 
Right, Carter? Please tell me that's 6 and 6, not 12 and 12. There's Kevin, four ninety nine. Brian Bosworth. Here's another Jason for you, Robert. Sanders. Jason Dominguez, too. Had a big Yankees fan, super fan, super collector of the Yankees last night. Get the Yankees in the randomizer, and he got a few. Maybe a chrome and a couple base. Stop. <laughs> you mean that's what you're doing on your first day break? Andrew Vaughn. Did we get our auto out of this one yet? Hopefully it's this green thing. And it's not. Toloit. Number to 125 for the Giants. Giants are for the Morganator. Oh, Josh, you're you're in two or more. I think there's only two dudes that bought. Whoa, nice. Number to one hundred. Xavier Edwards, and he is thirty eighth overall. That can't be too bad. Number to a hundred. What do you know about that guy, Carter, Mister Bowman? Seth Beer, Diamondbacks, building a team down there in Arizona. Really? Yeah, Garbage Pail Kids are hot right now. Garbage Pail Kids Chrome, I'll have that in November. Are they original, vintage, old school, 80s uh, garbage pail kids? Or newers? There's a shiny Jason. JD. I, I, I can't wait. I'll break. 
I could make up TSB packs with Garbage Pail Kids. Put packs in there or something in a bonus card. Or... I'll find a way. Magic Splitters with packs and Garbage Pail Kids. Really? Oh, man. What else did he get? I gotta get this store open, man. I gotta unleash the beast. <laughs> Luke puke. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the Garbage Pail Kids movie? How about GPK the movie? I swear to you, I watched it, I don't know, a couple months ago. I had the TV on out in the main room. And I found this weird, wacky channel that shows, like, B and C level movies. And Garbage Pail Kids the movie was on. When I was surfing through and I watched about 40 minutes of it. I could not believe how crazy and bad it was. Go YouTube that. Garbage Pail Kids the movie. Oh my gosh. There's a wander. Can't wait to watch him play. And then right after that. DC Cab came on. <laughs> oh man, Tyson, that's awesome. I would love a collection like that to walk in instead of 1992 tops. Baseball. Look at this. FOTL, first off the Lizine. From the private stash. You're looking at a the last one I pulled out of the private stash had a gold John ja Morant in it. This is from the private Keller stash. I needed something sexy for this break. Daniel Jones, rookie. Giants. Stephen P. Stephen P. has, check out his combos. Giants, Blue Jays, Grizzlies. Giants, Blue Jays, Grizzlies. That is dope. There's a Ryquel. Travis Homer, come on, first off the line. And a Red Sanders. Hmm. Marquise Brown, Dylan Mitchell, A.J. Brown. Better be something good in this, or I'm gonna be mad.
Patrick Peterson to 15. Rodney Anderson. Oh, and Hunter Renfro. Your first off the line. <laughs> Good God. Who pays four hundred dollars or whatever that is to walk in a hobby shop and buy that? Patrick Peterson is dope, though. A Kyler and a Daniel Jones rookie. Imagine Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow gold to 10 autos from Prism. How about that? wonder if that's announced yet. Probably not. All right, here we go. We had a John Morant gold. I mean, uh, um, yeah, it was number to 10. Fast break. Fast break gold. We did one box out of the Noir case so far, and it was not super dope. That's the second one. It's like the grand finale. That's what everyone's waiting for. If you were early in this break, and thank you very much, I posted it this morning. There's a Jason again. Man, he's, that's what is that, four or five of these? I'll go through them. I have the doper hits over here. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. Royals. Ah, oh, that's for my main man, Lee. What's up, Carol? I don't know if Carol watches, but I'd like to say hello to Carol if she's listening. Well, we can mini that. Let's just mini those bills and get it over with. Bills have Jake Fromm. That means there's going to be a Jake Fromm 101 in that legacy. You guys know that, right? Nobody wants the Bills. That always means there's going to be a monster. If I were a betting man, I would take that bet. I wouldn't say it's a guarantee, but I would take that bet. That breaker fate shows that when that happens, last team to be bought that nobody wanted. Oh, boom. It's a Josh Allen veteran. 101 patch auto. Tear card or something. Tony Dibrell is numbered to 499 and he is a New York baseball Met. Amy's excited. She's got the Broncos in the uh, half cases tonight of Legacy. You probably won't be seeing much more of Legacy around here. It's just too taxing on Tommy the Sorter. He'll do it. Don't get me wrong. 
He does it, doesn't say anything at all. He just kind of laughs every time I take back two big giant bins of one break of commons. I give him some hazard pay, which is fun. I'll take three white cards, the blockers, and I'll write on the back of them. I'll write a monetary bonus, I'll, and I'll pick some hobby boxes and some other stuff, and then he gets to pick one of the cards, and he gets what he gets. That's for heavy volume base breaks weeks. There's another Xavier Edwards. Padres. The Padres are owned by... It's Brian Croft. What's up, BC? How are you feeling about Xavier Edwards again? I mean, how much are the bills? see how much they are. Should I add a Michael Jordan photo into the sellout bonuses tonight? How about I add one of the Michael Jordan through the years? I'll let you guys pick which one. Should I put one of those in for the end of the night? Because I'm going to do a Jordan a day promotion here soon. I have plenty. What's another one? I like shipping those out. I really like shipping them out to people who win them and didn't know they won it. That's my favorite. Hey, uh, Chris, just want to let you know, I got this Michael Jordan framed item today. It's really cool, but I think you might have shipped it to me in, in error. Okay, well, stand by and let me check. Oh, yeah, you won that. And sell out bonus. I take all the people certain nights and run a list, and you won that. What? Yeah, dude, you won. It's yours. <laughs> Love that. Well, you guys can run immediately and close out those bills. Don't forget, Amy has Broncos and uh, Mitch. Mitch Smith, he has the Lions in one. I think he bought him in the other two, but he had a credit. So he just applied his credit to the Lions. And he is all cleared up. Ed, I need to know right now, and not as a geeky, lifetime, lifelong fan of the Patriots, I want to know, realistically, how are your Patriots going to finish this year? What's that going to be like? Who's going to be their quarterback? And can you believe Rob Gronkowski's gone with Tom? Oh, here comes something gold. Let's see if we got ink. No ink. Oh, I can't see. No ink. I don't know who it is, though. It's Blake Rutherford to 50. Damn. Still nice. Number to 50. White Sox again. They're killing it tonight. 
Adrian W., my man. Woo! My name's Ric Flair. Stenum will be the starter. Okay. Don't you owe me something. Now that I remember, you bet me that the Patriots would be in the Super Bowl or win it. Remember that? You owe me something. I just remembered. We bet. You said I guarantee you that the Patriots will be in the Super Bowl. And they were not. What did we bet? $500? Send it over in PayPal. I told you they wouldn't. Go back and find that video. Are we going to see this guy playing? Throwing it a hundy? It's like his third year after being a rookie. Three or four years he's been waiting. I'd love to see Hunter Green start playing. We did bet, dude. What did we bet? What did we bet? I think it was a $1,000 bet. You were like, I'm so sure, man. That's a given. Whatever you want. I was like, let's bet a grand. Thousand bucks. You can PayPal it over. You can send it over in payments if you need to. Two hundred fifty dollars a week for the next month. Pay up, or I'm flying to Philadelphia. You gotta fly me into Philly. And I know what we bet. I remember what we bet for real. We bet food. If you win, I was going to get you cheesesteaks for the family and for your, from from Philly. If I won the bet, which I did win, you need to get my family Lou Malnati's for dinner. Remember that? We bet pizza and cheesesteaks. Look at that. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. So, yeah. Pizza night on Ed. Lou Malnati's. Yeah, we bet cheesesteaks and pizza. <laughs> Woo! Here comes something gold and shimmery. Oh, snap. Who's it going to be? I just remembered it now, Ed. Number to 50. Oh, God, these things can be so monstery. Jocelle De La Cruz is a brave. He's numbered to 50. The Braves. Robert Sanders. Beautiful card. I'm telling you, this is why Bowman cards sell for so much money. Because they're just good looking especially when you have tens from BGS of that and don't worry Luminati's is only like 50 bucks for pizza for a night for the family Bobby Witt Jr. One pack left. I don't remember how many autos we had. I think we got all three.
Here we go. It's coming down to this. Coming down to this monstery ass expensive box of noir basketball next to national treasures in prism probably the hottest product there is because if you can't afford national treasures you're going to go for noir let's get seven autos out of this bad boy Get a monster hider going. DeMar, DeRozan, 99. Jalen Brown, 99. 99, box office memorabilia is Draymond. Green. Domantas Sabonis, ninety nine. Ninety nine, you remember this guy, Cherokee Parks. <laughs> On card Cherokee. Let's get seven autos. That will be dope. Probably not gonna at this point. Devin Booker, which is weird, I hardly knew her. Eleven to twenty five. Phoenix Suns. Kendrick Nunn, 99 for the Heat. The Heat are owned by Stephen Smith. Great looking cards, though. I'll give them that. I can see a number here. It's number to five. Whoa. It's Willie Cauley Steen, number to five. Sick little patch piece in there. Warriors. Here you go, Travis. Four or five for Travis. CQ, CQ, number to 99, Patch Auto, Pistons, Pistons are owned by David, David E, CQ, D. Russ, 25. So, dudes, for those of you who have been following along, there's two boxes of Noir left from the case. I should probably put those two together. 
instead of breaking them up. Well, I'm going to add this in as a bonus because every once in a while I get not happy with the break. It's not too often, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? These guys and girls pay good money for this stuff. So let's try and get something super dope for them. So I'm just going to add this in. These will go to the team owners. See if I can be a hero for somebody. Tyler Johnson. You got to look him up, though. I don't know where Tyler Johnson goes. Denzel Mims. Is he a um, Raven? He's number 35. Devin Duvin Ray. Trayvon Diggs. Mims is a jet. Man, this leaf usually is kick ass, but we haven't had too many monster dudes. That's numbered to 20. this to that break. Somebody's winning this. How about that? I basically stole those from Fanatics at the prices that they sold those for to us. I couldn't believe it. You don't even want to know what we got those for wholesale price, so it's not going to kill me to put that in. It'll make somebody much more happier than what it cost me, so let's add that as a bonus to this break. I know it wasn't cheap. I appreciate you all buying in. So now let's go in. I'll stop the recording and we'll go see 